python while loop so the while loop syntax in python the while loop in python is used to iterate over a block of code as long as the test expression that, that is the condition is true when the condition is false then it will the control will come out from the while block so we generally use the loop when we don't know the beforehand and the number of times to iterate so whenever we know that how many times we are going to iterate we are having the for but if you don't know that how many times we are going to iterate then you shall go for this while looping because when the condition is true the loop will get executed when the condition is false then it will come out from the loop construct so here is the respective uh, body there is a while test expression don't forget to give this uh, colon there and then body of while so there is one indentation is there that will indicate that this this these are the statements which will be under this while so enter while loop the control will come test expression if the expression is true then the body of while will get executed again the test expression will be tested and if the expression is false then it will exit from the loop so in this way the respective uh, python while loop will get executed while loop with else syntax in python so same as that for the for we can have an optional else block with the while loop as well the else part is executed if the condition in the while loop evaluates to false when the condition will become false then the else part will get executed when the condition is true then the while body will go on keeping their execution so the while loop can be terminated with the break statement in such case the else part is ignored if there is some break statement then the else part will get ignored hence a while loops else part runs if no break occurs and the condition is false so whenever there is no break statement whenever the condition is false then only the else part will get its control to execute its uh, its respective code written under the else block so let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of this while loop in python coding in this demonstration we are discussing the use of while loop in our python coding so here we have made i is equal to 3 i has been initialized with 3 while i is greater than 0 colon so whenever you are giving colon then the next line will be coming with the indentation that means this line is within the while block we are printing the value of i and also decreasing the value of i by 1 here so let us go for the execution you can find that 3 to 1 they are getting printed because when the value of i will become 1 so 1 is greater than 0 condition is true so print i 1 is getting printed now 1 is getting decreased by 1 so it will become 0 so i will have the value 0 so 0 greater than 0 the condition is false so that's why it is coming out from the while loop so let us go for while else structure so while i less than 10 print i and then i plus equal to 1 that means when the value of i is not equal to 10 below 10 that means when the i is less than 10 then the i will get printed and each and every time the i will be increased by 1 here and when this loop will get terminated then you are going to print that displayed successfully so let us go for the execution say at first i'm just initializing this i with the value say 5 here so now see the 5 is getting printed so 5 has got increased to 6 6 is less than 10 so 6 has got printed similarly 7 8 and 9 has got printed 9 has been increased by 1 so it has become 10 so 10 less than 10 the condition is false so control will be coming to the else part and displayed successfully the message is getting printed here so in this way you can find that how this respective while with else structure is there the blocks are getting printed accordingly are getting executed accordingly let us go for this pattern printing these are the very common problems in our exams so n will be uh, taken from the keyboard as input that is the number of players if the number of player is equal to six that means here we'll be having one two three four five six so six number of layers also you can consider six is the number of heights here so to print this particular pattern here we'll be having some blank characters and then some asterisk symbols will get printed but if I write only the blank characters, it will be not easy for us to count that how many blank characters are there. So in place of blank, we have written here dot. So in the coding also, you can replace this dot by blank if I want to get the final pattern here. So here we have made one tracing table. 
this is known as tracing table where we are trying to trace the logic of our code so for n is equal to 6 this is the respective pattern to be printed so i is the layer number or the height number it is ranging from 1 to 6 and here we are counting for each and every layer we are counting the number of blanks and the number of stars in this particular tracing table so here we are having five blank spaces and then one star so we have written five and one here we are getting four blank spaces and then three stars so we have written this four and three here we are getting no blank spaces but here we are having 11 stars so zero number of blank spaces and 11 number of stars or asterisk symbols are going to get printed so from here we are supposed to get the logic for blank and logic for the asterisk symbol so what will be the logic for blank here you can find that i is increasing and the blank is decreasing so if you subtract this i from some fixed quantity let it be n is equal to 6 so if you subtract this i from this 6 then obviously when the i will be increasing the difference value will be decreasing so whenever you are finding some logic that is something is increasing and another one is decreasing then obviously the value the variable which is increasing should be subtracted from some fixed quantity so that when the variable will be increasing the difference value will be decreasing so that's why 6 minus 1 is 5 6 minus 2 is 4 6 minus 3 is 6 3 and 6 minus 6 is 0 so here the respective logic for the blank will be n minus i next one i is increasing by 1 star is also increasing but by 2 so what we shall do if i is 1 star is equal to 1 i is 2 number of star will be 3 i is equal to 5 number of star is equal to 9 so we think that here the logic will be 2 star i minus 1 because 2 into 1 2 minus 1 is 1 2 into 3 is 6 minus 1 is 5 2 into 6 is 12 minus 1 is 11 here so the here the respective logic will be 2 star i minus 1 so we have got the logic now we are going to implement it here so n is equal to int input please enter the number of layers and then i is equal to 1 we have put and when that this value of i is less than equal to n that means i will be ranging from 1 to 6 if the value of n is equal to 6 given so here we have put that one everything in the while uh, loop construct so j is equal to 1 j we are uh, considering another loop control variable so j will be equal to 1 and while j is less than so now what will happen for each and every layer we will be printing a certain number of blank characters and then certain number of asterisk symbols then you shall go for the continuity break so that will be the skeleton of our program so at first we are going to print some blank characters and then we are going to print some asterisk symbols so how many blank characters we are having we are having n minus i number of blank characters so here we are putting this one as n minus 1 n minus i so j is equal to 1 j less than equal to n minus i print here we are printing this dot and int is equal to double quote double quote means here we are just omitting the trailing new line character so all these dots will get printed in the same line so now again we are making this j is equal to 1 and j is less than equal to so here we are putting this star logic that is a 2 star i minus 1 so we are putting this logic here and then print star and continuity uh, will be there all the stars will get printed in the same row so that's why n is equal to double quote double quote so this is the print which will break the continuity so we'll be printing certain number of dots certain number of stars so the next dot will be coming from the next line so that's why to break the continuity here we are putting and uh, putting another print statement so print function has been called here so now let me go for the execution we can find that if you give the value as 6 I'm getting this pattern here so I think so I should make this one 2 star i minus 1 I should go for i increase so that statement is missing so let us go for this i increase so i is equal to i plus 1 so here this i has to be increased by 1 and also let us put the same in our while so what we shall do is that so j is equal to j plus 1 so that statement is required otherwise my program will fall in in an infinite loop j is equal to j plus 1 here so let us go for the execution so here we are putting the value of um, n is equal to 6 so we are getting this pattern we are getting this pattern so now if you put a different value for n here if I put the value of n is equal to 11 we are getting the pattern like this 
you can easily fill that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 yes so here we are getting this 11 number of layers and the pattern is getting printed accordingly so after writing any code you should test your code with the multiple different values for inputs so let me check again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yes we are having the 9 layers so each and every layer will be having this preceding dots and then start so now in place of dot if you put a blank character if you put a blank character then then the pattern will be looking like this and the pattern will be looking like this in this way okay now let us go for the another example so I, I want to print this pattern like this so n is equal to 11 always the value of n should be odd here so m is the middle point I sh might be requiring it so let, let us at first go for the pattern so this is the pattern we are going to print so in the tracing table we have written i is ranging from 1 to 11 because 11 has been given and 11 must be odd otherwise this pattern will will not have the symmetry if we have the n is equal to even number so pattern will be will not be having the symmetry so now we are counting the number of dots and the starts you know so similarly with whatever we did earlier so just consider this uh, row arbitrarily so we are having four dots and three stars so we have written that one as four dots and three stars in this way we have filled up this uh, dot column and the star column so now let us go for the logic derivation you know that i is increasing throughout it is ranging from 1 to 11 but here this dot is at first increasing then it is decreasing so i cannot expect that same formula will work for the both hubs so that's why we are going for a separate uh, formula uh, for this uh, respective logic for this dot printing in the first half and in the lower half separately so how to do that one let us go for the calculations here so if it is 1 then it is 0 if it is 2 then it is 1 if it is 6 then it is 5 so it should be i minus 1 okay now come to this point if it is 7 it is 4 if it is 8 it is 3 if it is 9 it is 2 so that means I should um, subtract this i from the from some fixed quantity so that when the value of i will be increasing the difference value will be decreasing here so here we are having this i n is equal to 11 so 11 minus 7 4 11 minus 8 3 11 minus 10 1 11 minus 11 is 0 here so here the logic will be n minus i next one is that for this particular n is equal to 11 my middle point is the middle layer is the sixth layer so how to get 6 here so that is very simple 11 plus 1 12 by 2 is equal to 6 so that's why you are calculating another variable so the variable is getting initialized with 6 when the value of n is equal to 11 m stands for the middle most layer so now let us go for the calculation the logic derivation for this star so these expressions whatever you are going to derive here can contain i can contain n and also can contain m here so let us go for this derivation so here you can find that i is increasing by 1 and star is decreasing by 2 so that means when the i is there it must be subtracted from this fixed quantity so that difference value will be decreasing when the value of i will be increasing so let us go for the derivation so what is the logic we are finding just consider here so 6 minus 1 that is a 5 5 into 2 5 into 2 that is 10 plus 1 that is 11 so I'm going to give you two clues clue number one when I is increasing star is decreasing that means the I has to be subtracted from some fixed quantity so that when the value of I will be increasing the difference value will be decreasing that is about point number one point number two here is that here you can find that I is increasing by one but the star is decreasing by two so the difference value has to be multiplied by some by two so that the difference will get decreased the by the factor of two so 6 minus 1 5 into 2 10 plus 1 11 6 minus 4 is 2 into 2 4 plus 1 5 6 minus 6 is 0 into 2 0 plus 1 1 so here the formula will be 2 star here the formula will be 2 star m minus i plus 1 last in this case we're having this one that is a this particular case so if uh, i is 7 star is 2 3 i is 8 star is 5 so you can see that it is increasing by 1 it is also increasing but increasing by 2 
so two multiplication factor will be there so that is our clue okay now see so 7 minus 6 1 2 into 1 2 plus 1 is 3 9 minus 6 what is that 3 into 2 6 plus 1 7 so that's why here the logic will be 2 star 2 star i minus m so 2 star i minus m so we are get, going to get here plus 1 so we have got the logic now how to implement the same so let me uh, put this one here there is a code I'm going to put here I'm going to update the same see so here we have got the logic now how to implement it what we can do that after reading this value of n we are calculating the middlemost value so what is that n plus 1 whole by 2 okay please enter the odd number of layers okay next if i greater than m now what is what is the meaning of i greater than m upper half or lower half i greater than m means it is a lower half so blanks number of blank will be equal to in the lower half n minus i we got this one from here this one and for this star we are having this formula so that is our star so here we are writing s is equal to this formula else so we shall be going for this blank and blank is equal to i minus 1 and the star will be equal to 2 star m minus i so 2 star m minus i plus 1 so if i greater than m there is a blank there is a star else there is a blank there is a star so in this way i've got this logic so now how many number of blanks will get printed dots will get printed b number of and how many number of stars will get printed s number of so in this way i can easily implement my code so let me uh, go for a cross check if i execute this code I, if i give the value of 11 then i'm getting this pattern so here you see we are having this tracing table this is a tracing table we are having and there is a respective implementation you can easily find that how this code has got implemented so if i give the value say 13 i'm getting the pattern like this let me count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 yes we are, got, we are getting this uh, 13 number of layers here obviously the layer number will be starting from 1 to 13 in this fashion so let me go for the another execution if i make this one as 7 we're getting this pattern like this okay so if user gives if user gives the event value for this n then what will happen the pattern will not have the respective symmetry here now i'm going to give you one example one practice example here which has which has to be solved by you so this is a practice work we're having a program to display a pattern using loops so here the pattern is given here the pattern is given and here also uh, I prepared this tracing table you want and here you are supposed to derive the logic and then the respective logic has to be implemented using python coding so i'm giving this particular assignment as your practice work for your better understanding and for your for your better uh, performance so please solve this problem i have made the problem uh, partially done in the planning phase and now implement it using the python code and similar type of code already we have written so you are supposed to check that one uh, from this uh, example so in this particular demonstration we have discussed how to use the while loop in our python code thanks for watching this video